And now for a look behind the headlines, Rod Parsley, Perspective. The horrible descriptions of Dr. Kermit Gosnell's abortuary uh, reported recently in the news sounds like it must be located in some third world nation somewhere. Animals roaming freely, relieving themselves at will, untrained, incompetent assistants performing patient care, jars of infants severed limbs scattered throughout the office like they were decorations. Instead, Gosnell worked in one of America's great cities, Philadelphia where he would routinely deliver the babies prematurely and then end their lives with a pair of scissors. At least two women died due to his incompetence. Abortion advocates, of course, are saying that Gosnell is an aberration within a legitimate industry guaranteeing women's health. He's not. Like many abortionists, Dr. Gosnell catered to no, let me say he preyed upon poor, minority, and immigrant women. And while the violence perpetrated in his clinic is gruesome, the babies are just as dead in any other abortion clinic. Our popular media have tried to bury this story, perhaps because a neglectful state government ignored what was happening in Gosnell's House of Horrors for over two decades. But this story deserves, demands to be held up as the logical result of a culture where life is bad and death is good. America needs this story at the forefront of its collective conscience. And as long as I have a voice and a camera, I'm going to bring it to you. I'm Rod Parsley. That's just one preacher's perspective. For a new viewpoint on other topics, visit Rod Parsley Perspective at rodparsley.com.